Hi, this is Vishal Kalia from Rogueline.co and welcome to our next video. In this one, we are going to look into how to spy on your competitors' web traffic sources. You know, a lot of times this information is not readily available, but if you have your competitors, you want to know where people are coming to on their site. How much time are they spending? Are they bouncing off after one page? Are they driving more traffic from Facebook versus Pinterest versus Reddit? So this tool that I use, it gives you all this data for free and it's really really beneficial when you're trying to get your marketing strategy going based on what traffic your competitor is getting so let's dive right into it i'm going to get myself out of the frame here we go there you go so the tool is called similar web um, so basically you just go to similarweb.com and all you have to do is enter your competitor's website so let's let's look for gucci for example so we'll go to gucci's site there we go, you click on it, and now it's retrieving data, and it's gonna give you a snapshot of their whole website and traffic sources. So here we go, so it tells you, gives you a screenshot of their web page, tells you if they have an App Store app or Google Play, of course they do. As you scroll down, it gives you their global rank, country rank, and the category rank, which is pretty good information to have, so anything good. But this is where the fun starts. So this gives you their total visits, the traffic overview in last six months. So as you can see from November 2016 to April 2017, this shows how many people have been visiting their website. So on average, they have had about 5.3 million users, which is up by almost 4%. And 4% is pretty significant number when you're looking at 5.3 million visitors. The average visit duration is four minutes and five seconds. Average pages per visit is four pages, which is pretty good information, you know, and, and the bounce rate is 33%. So typically you want much lower bounce rate, you know, the lower the better, but 30% is kind of okay. Uh, so bounce rate basically means that when somebody lands on your site, depending on whichever sources they're coming from, they land to your website and then they did not go to second page from your site. They just landed on a page, looked at it, bounced right back to where they came from. So that's what this bounce rate is. This also gives you information of where the traffic is coming from. So as you can see, most of the traffic is coming from United States, then UK, France, Japan, and Canada. So this information is very critical. So imagine you have a competitor and you are thinking they're getting most traffic from US and UK. And using this tool, you found out here they're getting traffic from France and Japan. So if your competitor has potential customers coming in from different countries, when you are running your advertisement campaigns on Google or Facebook or wherever it could be, you can target those tiny um, uh, fraction of customers as well. So all you know, 5%, 4%, 3 as you go from more countries, you might even be lower percentage, but all those percentage add up. So if you find countries where your competitor is getting traffic from, target your Facebook ads, your Google ads on those countries. Your cost per click or cost per acquisition might be much cheaper so overall, you might end up making actually more money than you would do it for advertising in US. Uh, we scroll down, this is the best part. So this gives you traffic so desktop. So it says found out how, which are the traffic sources for desktop for Gucci.com. So this is 20, April 2017 analysis. As you can see, they're getting direct referrals, search, social, mail, and display. So direct base means that somebody just typed in Gucci.com and went to their site. Referrals are affiliate links, uh, you know, coming from bloggers. Search is typically, you know, your Google, Facebook, I'm sorry, not Google, Bing, Yahoo, search engines, social, all the social networks, mail is through email and displays through the display networks. So now when you scroll down, it will break it down to even one step further. So here you see referrals. When you come here, it tells you how the referral traffic is distributed. So you can see majority of the referral traffic is coming from Polyvor, then R style, then list. And it shows you that this is where people are coming in, they're landing on Gucci, and then from here, they're going into these pages. Um, so secure, acceptance, and PayPal. So these are probably Gucci's um, payment platforms. So majority of people landing, if they purchase a product, they're going there, which gives you, you know, about 40% of the traffic here, which makes sense. Um, as you scroll down, it gives you another set of distribution on search. So as we saw in the chart above, that 59% of the traffic is coming from search. 
And out of that, you can see that 74% is organic, where people are searching for the particular keyword in Google or any of the search engines. And only 25% is paid. And you can also see that Gucci is actually buying keywords, Gucci, Gucci belt, Gucci flip flops. A lot of time companies will buy their own brand name because they don't want their competitor to buy them and start ranking for the company's uh, brand name. So this is a good strategy as well. Uh, you scroll down even more, this gives you distribution on social. Um, so majority traffic is coming from Facebook, which is a no brainer. But as you can see, they're actually getting a lot of traffic from Reddit. So especially for a fashion company, you would not think that Reddit would work as well. But as you can see, 25% of the social traffic is coming from Reddit. So if you are a fashion brand and you want to target a new social network where people are not targeting that much, this data can be extremely useful. So the paid version gives you more social traffic. Um, I think you might even break it down to depending on which country has another popular social um, uh, networks. But this gives you at least an idea of where to start. Display advertisement, this shows you, you know, 1.67% is coming through display. Majority, of course, Google Display Network, but you can also see that affiliate links are coming through share a sale and skim links. So they are driving traffic here. So this, as you scroll down, it gives you, you know, web, with their web content, their subdomains that they own. You know, of course, they own Gucci.com, but they probably have media.gucci, digital, and a couple others. So this gives you a quick idea of what people are doing, you know, where traffic is coming from, how are they acting. So this can help you get started on your marketing strategy so you can pick the countries, pick the social networks when you're creating your marketing and sales strategy. So another way you can use this tool is, let's say you want to partner with a fashion blogger and you want to see how that fashion blogger's traffic is coming. Are people coming to their site and just bouncing off? How many people are coming in, their monthly visits. So easiest way to do is you can type a blogger's URL here. Um, so let's test it out for uh, the, the blonde salad, right? We all know that blog. Here we go, theblondesalad.com. And this will give you very similar information that we saw before. So as you can take a look, it says it has an app store, uh, gives you their global rank, country rank, of course, is based out of Italy. Um, you can see the graph, they get about 400,000 monthly visitors. So as you scroll down, see their bounce rate is almost 50%. So people are probably coming in for, for one particular article. They read that and then they bounce back. Uh, they can definitely use some improvement, but pages per visit is five pages, pretty significant. Uh, so here you can see most of the traffic is coming from Italy, then UK, then Switzerland, and France is actually getting traffic as well. So in Switzerland, they probably started doing something to marketing because their traffic is up by 90%. So this 4.6% almost didn't exist. So it looks like it jumped from less than 1% to 4.64, which is very significant. So this is good information to have. Uh, so this is, gives you very similar idea. So I would say use this tool. Uh, so this is the free version that I'm showing you right now. They have a paid version as well. But at this point, I would just use the free one because it gives you decent information. So look into it, You know, find what information about your competitors you need find information about potential bloggers, and then you can create your marketing strategy accordingly moving forward. So then again, this is Vishal Kalia from rogueline.co. And if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up or subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions, please leave me a comment and I'll be more than happy to hear from you. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.